6,775 pounds, Wildwood with living room super slide, private bedroom, and private rear bunk room with a very cool, what I like to call kind of like kids eat and go dinette, and full size camp kitchen here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, with, of course, the very popular Wildwood Versa Lounge. Now, Wildwoods generally feel bigger to folks right as soon as you step inside. There's a very good reason for it. They are. It's not just the good lighting and the accent light above the slide. It's not just the color palette. This is a six foot nine interior height. Now, what you have to watch out for is the marketing magic that goes into the RV industry. There are a lot of RVs that have a six and a half foot wall with a vaulted ceiling that are advertised as six nine tall. They might be 6'9 tall at some places. This is 6'9 tall through the entire RV. And when your sidewall is taller, that means that you have more headroom in the shower, you have bigger cabinets, you have the opportunity for a bigger slide, and Wildwood takes advantage of all of that here. Now, before we get too far along, though, I need to spend some serious time taking a look at this seating arrangement. This is called the Wildwood Versa Lounge. It is exclusive to Wildwood. There are a couple similar things out there, but the Versa Lounge itself is only in the Wildwood series. It, it only does everything. And because it takes so long, I've kind of pre-prepared some um, kind of generic footage, but it, it might vary slightly from the one we're looking at here today, but it'll give you all the ideas of what the Versa Lounge does for you. So starting now, keep in mind that this is just generic footage to show you how the Versa Lounge works in all its different variations. Uh, because we carry so many Wildwoods, and this is available in so many models, and it takes a lot of time to juggle between all these different formats to do my job properly, I thought I'd kind of record something a little more generic, and I think you can definitely get the idea. So first of all, in the super slides of Wildwoods, you see that they do have the blackout kind of roller shades. What is really nice is they have slide side breeze windows. I just have those covered up so that window all the way down there on the end will open for airflow, regardless of what configuration you have the seating in. So if you're looking at it right now, this is what I call traditional, where you've got yourself uh, you know, a, a U-dinette or a two-bench dinette, because there are variants of the Versa Lounge both ways, depending on the floor plan you're looking at, and then a, uh, a sofa over here. And that is a very normal configuration. You don't you know, see a whole lot of variance there. But if you take note, that rear, uh, well, the, the, uh, the seat back closest to us on that U-dinette, it looks a little different. That's because it's removable. So if you don't want it there, it doesn't have to be there. And that's what's really cool about this thing. This is like phase one of about five of the Versa Lounge arrangements. You can just create this wide open kind of super dining lounger hybrid combo job. Now that's a very technical term, you know. Uh, I understand if you need to back the footage up a little bit to uh, to pick up on I'm putting down right there, but you, you folks, you're tuned into Halo RV. I think, I think you're pretty sharp. What's kind of cool about this is it kind of makes it easy to sort of slide over the table, slide over to the seating. There's there's really no like one way that you have to use this. It's just the way that works best for you and your family. Next, it folds down into one super slide, super seating sleeper setup. I know that's a lot of alliteration for one thing in RV, but you get the idea. Now, what I love about this is this is found, the Versa Lounge setup like this is found in all super slide wildwood and x lights once again now you tend to find a lot of bunkhouse models in those families but they make quite a few couples campers too so that means like a super slide rear living couples camper can convert down into being exceptionally guest friendly and it's long enough that like i'm a tall person if i had my head on the right hand side of the frame and then there was a second copy of me sleeping with my head against that far wall you know, we, we might touch toes, but hey, no big deal. And most of the time you curl up and you're a side sleeper, you could make that work for a night for a weekend. So it's good for more than just kids. It's also like adult guest friendly, or frankly, some people have really big kids and they need a little bit more than, uh, you know, just a conventional sleeper uh, bunk setup. They need something longer. But one of the best and most unsung qualities of the Wildwood Versa Lounge is all of this huge tote storage space that you're looking at. This is, I believe it's 20.1 cubic foot of total tote storage. They're food safe containers, so if you want to put some crackers or Oreos or snacks for the kids in there, it's not going to be contaminated. If the RV, you know, gets hot while it's in storage, you know, you could leave stuff in here if need be, if they're 
especially if they're, you know, like non-perishable kind of things, but even if they're perishable stuff, you know, short-term kind of thing. You see that under the sofa, there's like a drop-down face that, uh, you know, flops down and you can pull those totes out. They're stackable. Uh, and, and frankly, guys, if you don't need them, don't use them. You know, there's nothing that says they have to stay here. They're not bolted to the camper by any stretch of the imagination. And where they're really useful is especially in bunk models, because what you can kind of do is dedicate each tote to one of the people in the RV. Like, say, the kids. And what you can do, my daughter, uh, Chloe, what I could say is, okay, Chloe, I want you to take this tote, go upstairs to your room, uh, there's clothes laying on your bed, I want you to put all those clothes in this, and then bring it back to me. And bang, the kid's packed. It's an easy way to help get the kids involved. It's also an easy way to help keep all the kids' toys and clutter and everything, uh, you know, uh, under control. Now, under the rear dinette bench on U dinette models, because remember, there are some uh, just two bench dinettes, so this part of the video may not necessarily apply. Please keep that in mind. But they leave it wide open. And I like that because you could stuff more totes or duffel bags down there if you're so inclined, but I have long legs. And when I sit at something for a while, I tend to lean forward, and I like to curl my legs under me. Now, that's just me, but I looked at that and said, oh my gosh, I could actually be comfortable here. Whereas... <laughs> You know, a lot of dinettes just, they aren't comfortable for a bigger person like me, and I think I could really get along just fine on this one over here. But I think most of the time, this is how everyone's going to have this set up. At least most folks, not everybody. I tend to speak in absolutes. It's kind of a flaw that I have. Because it gives us this extra large, stretch out, kick back, relax, cuddle up with the family nap and lounge over here, whatever you want to call it. Somebody called it a fainting lounge on our YouTube channel? Is that, a, is that a thing? Is that like a regional thing? Is that something from down south or out west that just this little Midwestern boy I am, I don't know about, the fainting lounge where you can just walk up and faint on this thing? I don't know. You get the idea. Anyway, I, I like the fact that I could just sit in the corner. I could stretch out. And on most models where you find the Versa Lounge, like this is a good example, uh, it will actually help you face the entertainment center more organically and give you a more enjoyable experience overall. You know, there's just, there's so many good things. Like, I haven't even talked about the accent lighting over the slide that makes the whole RV look bigger. There's so many good parts about this. And what's cool is when it is in uh, L lounge, fainting, napping, family cuddle mode, whatever you want to call it, you don't lose a dinette. And where I think this is perfect is if you do have kids or guests like this, uh, if you're in a bunkhouse, you still have a little spot where you could sit down, make the kiddos a sandwich or, you know, hot pocket or whatever. You get the idea. Hot pocket. And, uh, <laughs> please don't sue me. You could uh, still have a little spot there. They could play some little board games or something, card games in the corner. But you're still kind of right next to everybody. Everybody's still in the mix. And that's what camping's about for me. It's trying to get everybody together so that everyone has a good time. And I think this is a great way to do that. No matter your style of camping, no matter how many people are camping, this offers something for everybody. It's why I call it a Swiss Army sofa seat. So all that being covered back in lounge mode, which is I think how most people are going to use it most of the time, and I love the storage of that. But isn't it cool? It does all that stuff and then it just folds away so seamlessly. It's like you never see it again. Uh, you have the opportunity to upgrade these to a larger air conditioner. That's something that we often do here at Haylet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. We'll come back and see the kitchen in more detail, but on the way through, I do want to take a quick moment to look at that refrigerator. That is one of those 10.7 cubic foot 12-volt uh, DC compressor fridges. Uh, Wildwood was the first mainstream brand to standardize the use of that appliance. Uh, that and uh, many other things like it have since become adopted by so many brands of RVs out there today. It's got a little travel lock here to make sure the doors don't fling open in transit. And a little pro tip from your Uncle Josh, if you want to turn these things off, off, what you have to do is hold this button for like 10 seconds, which seems like an arbitrarily long amount of time, and then let go. I've noticed it doesn't have to be exactly 10 seconds, but I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't hurt like the, if you hold it, it won't do anything until you let go. Also, something I like on Wildwood, they're including from the factory a digital thermostat, which <laughs> it's weird. Most brands just don't do. This is something that a lot of people in RV forums all the time after market will say, hey, you could upgrade to a digital thermostat. Oh, Wildwood just 
does it, you know? Private bathroom over here. Uh, give you an uh, you know idea. There's there's not like a massive amount of leg room around this, but there's enough. I've never had issues uh, in the bathroom of one of these. Sealed edge countertops here in the bathroom, just like you find in the kitchen on the dining. You find sealed countertops through the whole thing. And did you notice this is a shower, not a tub? Uh, I know that some people are like, oh no, it's a bunkhouse. Don't you think it should have a bathtub? Well, thing is, guys, RVs don't tend to hold. Uh, as much water as like you need for a bath. You know, you're not going to tax your tanks quite that heavily most of the time. So a shower, since you're only kind of in and out, tends to make the most sense. And frankly, if you got a hitch in your giddy up, they are easier to get into and out of. I like how they went with this um, curved shower bar right here. It gives you a little more uh, elbow room for a bigger person like me. And uh, again, the taller ceiling gives you plenty of headroom for a big person like me as well. And that is a full medicine cabinet, not just a mirror smashed against the wall. Now there's a sliding privacy door here for the bunk room. You can see the uh, little latch for it right there. And one of the other things I like, if we come in here, I try not to make you sick, I'll spin around slowly. You just have a little lights out switch. Now, every single light in this RV can be individually click controlled, but you don't have to use them that way. That's one of the neat things on these. So if you want less light, you're on battery power, you can individually click those lights off. But I love the fact that you can just turn the lights on and off on the kids. Now that is a breeze through egress window. Uh, across from this on the lower bed, you'll see another breeze through egress window. And how nice is it that you don't have to throw your kid into the upper bed? It includes a ladder, just a little wildwood doing wildwood thing details there for you. Now, as I said, one of the things I think is the signature calling card of this floor plan is what I'm going to call the eat and go dinette over here, where, uh, you know, it gives you basically the function of a second room. The kids on a rainy day have a little spot to sit down. People doing remote learning for their kiddos, given our current world situation, you've got a neat little spot for that there. But if you uh, take note here, Everything, uh, well, first of all, there's dresser storage in there, but also this dinette can fold down into a sleeper, and there is a quick fold down bed above that. Just handy little detail things like that, separating Wildwood from a lot of other brands. Now, our air vents, they can all open and turn individually, so you can really control where that air is flowing. And it's not just back here in the bunk room, that's through the entire room. And that's something my wife and I would really appreciate, because like, I'm, I'm Mr. Heat Box, you know? I produce a ton of body heat. Her, not so much, you know? She says that's why she doesn't want me cuddling on her all the time. Uh, I maintain it's because I'm gross. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only one with that uh, life experience. Now. You'll see for, uh, when we go outside, but those slide side breeze windows, they do open for airflow. So this thing can really, you know, get that wind tunnel effect going on. But I love the privacy that you get in here. Also, if you are interested in entertainment, this is obviously in a very entertainment focused model, but you have room to put a massive jumbotron up on this thing. Down below that, we have our uh, Bluetooth sound bar which is uh, including, or also outfitted with an HDMI plug. So if you wanna do some, you know, if you wanna add a Blu-ray player, anything like that, anything HDMI, it's capable of doing so. That electric space heating fireplace likes to take the nip out of the air for us without burning up our propane. Uh, a quick note on the air conditioner as well. While it is using one that does have a, 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 a quick cool or cold air dump on this Coleman Mac AC, which uh, is nice that it does run a little bit quieter. Still not the same as a Whisper air system, but it's it's better than a common loud air. A air conditioner noise is not personally a deal breaker for me. Perhaps it is for you. That's why I mention it. But if uh, when the vents are closed, it'll push all the air through the central vents that we already looked at. When it's like this, about 50% of the air will drop in here and still bleed some air through the rest of the RV. So I like to do this when I first get to my destination and then go like that after I've been there for a while to keep my bedrooms and bathrooms cool. Here's another pro tip from your Uncle Josh. And if you appreciate stuff like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow along with us. When you first get to your destination, if it's hotter the Dickens, which I don't know how hot the Dickens is, but apparently it's about the, you know, Schofield scale equivalent of like ghost chilies or a Carolina Reaper or something like that. Anyway, open your cabinet doors because these things are like miniature ovens. Let that heat breathe out of here. If you have the opportunity, open a window or a fan, but open your cabinet doors real quick and you will bleed out a ton of heat from the camper when you first get there. Um, so you know what? I, I should have left that open so we could look at the storage. How about then? 
you know, we since I did something weird, we, we make it worth our time, and we start down here today. So to begin, you see, we pop that oven down. You, uh, you know, want to make uh, some biscuits or cookies, you can. You've also got some great drawer space right there that opens up. Plenty of room for your utensils, spatulas, all those good things. But as we pivot our way over here, you see that there's uh, a lot more kitchen to go. You have your spell... <laughs> your, your spelfs? You know what? We're gonna... You have your spelfs. A large wastebasket space under the sink right there. Now that's a roll-away dish drying rack below that high-rise sprayer faucet. You can see that clutter-cutting like giant shoe shelf wide open space right below the electric space heating fireplace with some handry... Uh, handry? Wow, your spelfs have some handry little storage. Woo! I'm doing great today on either side of that electric fireplace. Now up top here, since the ceiling's a little bit taller, they throw a shelf in this to really maximize your storage capacity. But what's cool is Wildwood does that even in their X-Lite series, which has a six and a half foot tall uh, interior versus the six nine ceiling that you find on this one. Now obviously we have ourselves a privacy door here up for the bedroom, but the storage isn't done yet. Because as you notice, this bed is about as easy lift as they come. So that bed seriously gets out the way and you can access the front pass-through compartment if you are so inclined. Although, you know, you don't necessarily have to access it that way since you have pass-through doors on either side. Now you've got these cube organizers with another shoe shelf kind of thing down below here. And these are great because in a sense, that's kind of functioning in a way as your dresser storage space uh, here in the master or private bedroom or whatever you want to call it. Now with the bed down out of the way, I want to point something out. This is a camp queen, but if you notice, they left a ton of room in here. If you want a true queen, you can easily upgrade the bedding. Uh, but some people really like that extra room to walk around, so Wildwood kind of gives you the choice. I want to slide in here into the bedroom real quick, show you that extra large and breeze-through window that you have here in the bedroom space, which is absolutely fantastic. It really kind of opens everything up. Plus, if you hear noise at night, you can see if it's a raccoon or a bear, or, you know, your kid trying to sneak out like my brother used to. My brother would try to sneak out at night and he would always trip over stuff on the campsite. He'd knock the window out of himself. He'd always hear, Poo! and we're like, yep, Matt's going catfishing again. Thankfully, he went catfishing for actual catfish and not uh, girls, you know. Um, over here, <laughs> um, you see our USB plugs in black on the front side. But inside the cabinet, you see household outlets. Then you have that nice, cool little cutaway. Classic feature Wildwood has kind of given new life to, and that is what I call uh, CPAP storage. Well, I don't call it, they call it that. It is CPAP storage. Um, it could be used for more than that. I think it's a great place to like keep a phone out of the way, but it, it does a lot of very cool things. Now you can see that those are mirrored wardrobes to also help the room look big. And this is a really cool thing Wildwood's doing. So this is not just seam tape, or uh, like you get in a lot of brands. This is a T-shaped click in place so it doesn't fall out trim. And this is the same thing. So if it gets hot in here, if it's humid, old, our old versions of things like this, the seam tape could, not often, but could curl and come off. Now it was easily replaceable, but sometimes you had to do that. Now you've eliminated that potentially. You don't gotta worry about it. You have TV hookups directly across from the bed. And just like in the bunk room, when you walk in, you just got a handy little switch, which is very nice for people uh, more like my wife, who aren't quite as tall as me. Now, I thought, since I've had the shades closed, I'd go ahead and give you a look with no lights and just those panoramic windows flooding light into this thing. It's also interesting how it changes the colors, the way that everything appears. When those lights are on, they, they, they're slightly yellow which is how the human eye is designed to look. So in a sense, this is a washed out version of everything. I think it looks good either way though. Their color palette's really nice. And uh, I think it would be a good opportunity to show you this thing with the slide closed. Quick look here first with the slide closed, something we always like to do for you here at Halo RV. Uh, if you need to on this one, you can get through, thanks to the way the Versa Lounge sets up, you can basically just kind of zigzag uh, right around this thing. You can get to the fridge, you can get to uh, the dinette, so you can stop and make a sandwich or something, but if you do want to get back to the bathroom or the bunks, with this one you really do need to open the slide out. Now, the good news there is that this is a rack and pinion slide system, and what that means is that if you only want to, uh, you know, bump the slide about halfway, just enough to sneak through, 
like that. I could stop right here and that will not damage the slide. Now you'd open it a little more to get to the bathroom, but this slide system does allow you to crack the slide and then close it back up without ever damaging anything. It's just kind of one of the cool benefits of this system. Back outside, that light, bright skin package that we're looking at will really do wonders to uh, keeping the sunshine from cooking the RV. It's just kind of a funny thing how what was old is new again for many, many, many years. So many RVs had a white exterior, and suddenly now it's the big trend again. You know, just kind of funny. Although I do like like little charcoal, copper kind of accents that they have into this. It's just nice little touches that they have in here. And if you hadn't noticed, that's, that's really what Wildwood does very well. They have a lot of touches. For instance, right up here in the tongue jack, uh, you see, of course, you know, the power jack doing the heavy lifting for us, but the safety chain hooks and a little seven-way plug buddy that you're looking at right there, just little details like that are nice. Behind uh, the uh, dual battery capable tray, you'll have your first battery included with you at no additional charge from Halo RV. And uh, you'll see a simple battery disconnect switch. Little stuff like that makes a big difference. Now you can turn most of the appliances off inside. Like you can uh, find a way you can uh, turn off the 12 volt fridge from the interior. Last year I noticed a couple 12 volt uh, fridge producers didn't have that feature and they've since kind of you know updated that a little bit which is nice so that when the things in storage you don't drain your battery although that disconnect could always take care of that for you uh what i've noticed though is that there's things like stereos and the water heater circuit panels they don't turn off they just go into standby and low power mode so that disconnect when she's in storage is a very beneficial feature you see the magnet holdbacks on pretty much you know all of our exterior baggage doors is a nice touch and of course we've got the wildwood accessibility down here they are, is, you can see it's a sectionalized belly compartment. And what that's doing for us is, first of all, it is forced air heated. It's obviously enclosed, but that is going to be a stronger layer of protection with enhanced serviceability as compared to uh, like a corrugated underbelly that in order to service it, it requires many man hours to either drop the underbelly and then re-secure it or uh, to, you know, do it quickly and less expensive you have to take a stanley knife and cut your underbelly package i don't think a lot of people are very interested in that you notice those uh, i've got those shades drawn from the inside you see how it's bright white on the back of them but it wasn't bright white on the inside it's basically uh, a layering to help keep the sun shine from penetrating through those windows so when you want all the light in the world with a wildwood you can have it when you want uh you know to keep the sunshine out of the rv you can do that too we're backup camera ready fully walkable roofing uh 3 8 roof decking 5 8 tug and groove plywood floor decking uh spare tire is actually an optional piece of equipment that is something that we add here basically 10 times out of 10 at halid rv i hope you never need it just like uh you know car insurance i hope you never need that but if the need does arise, I want to make sure that you folks are covered and that you do have the ability to get yourselves back home. Now over here on the camp side of the RV, we have ourselves, first of all, a large outside kitchen, which is something that's become uh, a little bit hard to find, it seems like, in the modern RV market. Now you notice that the power awning goes like right up next to it, basically. Well, there's obviously a little gap there, about, I don't know, 18 inches or so. But uh, you've got some pretty good overhead coverage here as a result. Now, uh, I am, of course, a taller person as we demonstrated inside, and you see that I can easily fit inside this thing and never have to worry about hitting my head or anything like that, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Uh, this, these have a swing around bumper mount grill system here. Now, if you are more of like a Blackstone enthusiast or whatever, the cool thing is there are, um, like adapter mounts for blackstone griddles that you could slap on here and it will utilize the exact same propane grill quick connect now since we're looking at it here i'm going to go ahead and uh break away from the camp kitchen for just a second to give you the best look you're ever going to get at the jt strong arm bracers right here these things are just absolutely awesome if you're not familiar with them what they do is they uh they take like almost all of the wiggle and the jiggle out of the rv when you're at your campsite I'm a huge fan, they're phenomenal. Those little T-handles you can just pull by hand, or pardon me, tighten by hand, and even just one or two of those, let alone all four in the RV, will really stabilize the thing. Now here's an interesting note. The manual stabilizers on Wildwoods are rated for more weight than most campers in this brand to help add stability. Then they add the strong arm stabilizer jacks, and this is all done standard for you. 
interestingly, you have the option to go to power stabilizer jacks on a Wildwood, but these will hold more weight and add more stability than power stabilizer, and you lose the strong arm jack leg, but the good news is it does cost you extra money. Meanwhile, what you're going to see up front is this includes the little, like, three quarter inch bit or whatever to plug into your cordless drill and you can be go in like i don't know eight seconds per jack up or down and uh it will you know <laughs> operate far far more quickly effectively now back up top here you see a galvanized rolled steel countertop and that is you know basically waterproof the the metal can't get damaged by anything so if you do happen to splash water around you're good speaking of which you have a real sink with a real drain over here this is something that will uh you know it, it greatly enhance your camping experience even if you don't cook out here if you don't use the outside tv hookups having that refrigerator and the sink outside are going to be absolute godsend features. Now you can see they've left you some uh, cargo space. It's like minimal, but really effective. Nothing's really like bulky and in your face. So that if you, you know, uh, it, it never feels like you're losing a lot of space. It feels nice and big and wide open and comfortable in here. The uh, power awning on this thing, obviously just, you know, push and hold one button. She pops right out, gives you some great patio coverage. It is a two finger easy tilt awning, which is great. You might've seen those in a bunch of my videos, LED lighting at the base. Our speakers uh, for the stereo are mounted down low over here, thankfully, which is I think a really nice feature. So you don't have to crank up the music and blow away the neighbors. Now, you feel like cranking up the music, blow away the neighbors, well, that's perfectly fine. That's up to you guys. The stable steps here, that's something Wildwood's been doing for a little while. It really uh, helps, again, take a lot of the wiggle jiggle out of the RV. And we also have that larger handle and a uh, friction hinge entry door. Things like this have become almost standard through a lot of RVs here. Little touches though, friction hinge doors don't need a hold back, but Wildwood gives us this nice rubber stopper right here so that you can make sure it doesn't bang against the side of the trailer. Just nice little detail stuff like that. Right next door, we have a simple side mount solar prep plug. If you do want to get a portable panel, you want to keep that fridge running uh, longer off grid, you can. And it does not take a lot of solar, like a simple 100 watt solar panel uh, that you know you can plug into this thing, uh, nine or 10 amp kind of charge capacity on it. It will keep that fridge running for like over two weeks. It works very well. And that's on a standard battery. You go lithium or something like that, or you go dual battery for off grid use, it's going to be even better huge pass through here and I like how they keep their handles up out of the way and there's that little cordless drill bit I was telling you about on the bottom right so that if you do want to uh, you know take the uh, kind of manual effort out of putting your jacks up and down while still maintaining the vastly superior stability of what you see here well Wildwood kind of gives you the best of both worlds that way that's probably why we like them here at Halid RV. They do a lot of good things. So if you like what you see, give us a call. Halid RV, we do it all. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halid camping, everyone.